us in public that he would even hug uh, uh, the Navajos who were who would stop at the gas stations and fill up their gas or just to run in and get a soda pop or a bottle of water or something like that. And I truly believe that that, that he is genuine, um, a genuine leader because I have always known him that way. I have always known him to be a humble person, a happy person, and very compassionate. I also want to say about um, uh, Representative Begay and Senator Pinto, I worked with them side by side in the legislature. Sometimes we were up against uh, legislative bills that were somewhat anti-Native American or some, sometime anti uh, uh, issues that, that, that concerned us. And when that happened, at times we would huddle in a corner and strategize how we would try to uh, slow the bill or, or kill the bill. And because we were always concerned that anything that was anti-Native American or even anti-Navajo, uh, we would work hard and communicate and, and, uh, and work to slow the bill down or campaign with our uh, leadership and, and educate them about how the bill was not good for the Navajo people or for the Native Americans in the state of New Mexico. And most of the time, 99% of the time, we managed to put a stop to those kinds of bills. Um, we also champion a lot of good bills working together. They have always been, the two individuals have always been, uh, in spite of sometimes, uh, we didn't always uh, agree 100% on, on some of the bills, but in spite of that, we always respected one another. Uh, the two honorable gentlemen have never come, have never publicly ever stated uh, anywhere that uh, uh, in adversarial of, 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 of me in my capacity as, as a public servant for the state of New Mexico. We have always worked well together. We have always respected, uh, and if we had any differences, we resolved them privately. We did not resolve them openly. And that's what I have a great deal of respect for Representative Begay and Senator Pinto, because I know that they work hard. They work hard in the background and never put themselves uh, publicly to make it known uh, how hard they're working for people, because they work in the background and they work very hard. I know because I watch them and they watch my work as well, and they watch me and the way, uh, it, uh, how my demeanor was. And so they are witness to my work day after day after day, and, uh, and even in committees, and even during the summertime, summer season, when we uh, serve together on the interim committees, they, they know my character, and they, they know exactly how I conduct myself personally and how I conduct my work. And they're very respectful people. And so, Shinantai uh, to both of you and Senator Pinto. Sadat 
summarize my sister. It is Invictus. She is unbowing. She is the captain of her soul. She is the captain of our campaign, the people's campaign. Not bowing to the needs of special interests. Fine gentlemen, such as Mr. Benali, Representative Gay as well as Senator Pinto have stepped forward and realized that I would like to align myself, my supporters, with Senator Lovejoy, who will become the next president. <laughs> Two weeks from now, we will have an assembly at that point, journalists will ask us, how do you feel about your victory? How does it feel to have an overwhelmingly support from your constituents? At that time, we will have fine young men and women who will stand with us, ready to align themselves, saying, we are here to work. We would like to support the movement of Navajo. That is the vision. We understand what the statistics are. We understand that we are limited in various resources. However, we have great vision. And these gentlemen have seen and have realized that Navajo's best has yet to come. That is the driving force of Lovejoy Thule. Now the other thing that we, I would like to share with you is this. We are moving this campaign with our own nickels and dimes, yes, without right. special yeah. interest money. Yeah. Yeah. We are moving this particular campaign without utilizing the precious resources of the Navajo Nation government. That's right. We are not utilizing their property. Our vehicles are parked openly. They do not have the Navajo Nation seal on our vehicles. It is our own. By our own bootstraps, we're going to put on our shoes and move forward on behalf of the Navajo Nation. These gentlemen have done the same. If you can recall, Senator Pinto, 1977, at any time there is a re-election, Senator Pinto's out there putting up his old signs. Mm -hmm. And if you look at those signs, they have been weathered. But they also do not bow to special interests. They bow, and he only bows to rendering services to the Navajo Nation. He's our senior statesman, mm -hmm. as well as Representative Begay. He has represented his community in the northern portion of New Mexico very well. That alliance allows you to stay in the leadership capacity. So in a given time, we have individuals such as Mr. Benali coming forth, biracial, but he has the heart of Navajo. He, has the of Navajo. he is Navajo. And many of our biracial children look up to him and say and ask for counsel of him as well. That I am assured. 
That is where he comes forth. And that is where his being comes forth to say that I am a child of the holy people. He is a child of Nabal. And we embrace him as well. The alliance of having such fine young individuals coming forward. I say young because they are energetic. They still have much to give of their services to this Navajo Nation. We need to embrace and we will work with them as well as the Navajo people to make sure that we secure what is rightfully ours. And what is rightfully ours, we will secure by our own means and not having others speak for us. This is going to be a leadership of Navajos. We will negotiate our, on our own terms. That is what Invictus means. We will not bow. We have not bowed. But we will embrace the support of our fellow Navajo beings. And I can be assured that two weeks from today, November 3rd, you will ask us questions. And many people will join us and they will support us as we move Navajo ahead. Navajo has much to explore, has much to secure. That is why we step forward and say that we are the leaders of Navajo Nation. Our time is here. This is the future that our people, our progenitors hope. This is now. And we are the corn pollen of yesterday's prayers. And we will make manifest our destiny and make tangible those talents and those blessings that are afforded to us by our Creator. So thank you very much for being here with us again. Thank you very much.